Welcome to another workout. Today is shoulders starting with side lateral raises. Arms slightly bent, not locking out the elbows and making sure to use the shoulders to bring the weight up. Did two more sets of those and then dumbbell shoulder press seated and we want a neutral wrist, the wrist not bending too far completely back because that can hurt it over time. And I feel it so much more in my shoulders when my wrists are more neutral. And here's another working set. And I never want to be faster on the way down than I am on the way up, controlling it as best I can on the way down and exploding as fast I can on the way up. And I do three or four sets of these, sometimes standing, sometimes seated. Seated allows for going heavier and isolates the shoulders better. And standing shoulder presses engage your abs and a little bit of the legs more, but usually the weight is a little bit lower and it does make it more challenging, but doesn't completely isolate the shoulders. They're both great exercises. The standing one is more functional, which is why I alternate them, because I want to do functional movements, but also really build my shoulders. Next is rear lateral raises, seated. They can be done standing, just bend over at a 90 degree angle. These are very challenging, especially because they are newly added to my routine. I did not do them in the past, so my rear delts are a little weak, and I did two more sets of those. And now for front raises, these work the shoulders and the biceps really well. And we again want a slight bend in the elbows. Normally any complete lockout of the joint is not wanted because it can lead to pain. And who wants unneeded pain? and focusing on the front of the shoulders and the biceps to lift the weight. These are also a new exercise to me. I did not do them in the past. And I did two more sets. They can be done two arms at a time, but I find one arm at a time is more effective. They do get really challenging, even with a light weight. I'm trying not to move my hips and torso because I want it to be harder for my shoulders and biceps. Same with the bicep curl where we don't want to move the torso. We just want to contract the biceps to get the weight up. And it looks like I do a lot because they're one arm, so it takes doubly as long. Here is the last set. So if you haven't noticed, I like to work the shoulders from every angle. Side, back, and front. Because that whole shoulder area has different muscles in different places. Now it's getting really hard. 
so there's less control on the way down. But that's okay towards the end. If you haven't tried these, I really recommend them. They give a great pump. And next is tricep kickbacks. I include some other arm movements in my shoulder workout. Now it's good I took a video because although I felt it and this was a great tricep workout, my elbow could be a little higher, that's a little better, to make it more challenging. On kickbacks, make sure to keep your elbow high. And use the tricep to get the weight back, not the elbow joint. These, you may find the weight seems light, but after a few reps, you should really feel it in your tricep. But if you don't feel it in your tricep, it could either be too heavy or too light. If it's too heavy, the elbow will be used to bring the weight up, which is not what we want, just the tricep. Another thing is to keep the elbow really close to the body. For these, we don't want flared elbows. Close to the body and elbow high. Then, tricep rope push downs. These I do t once or twice a week. That was the warm up set. Here is a working set. Not much to say about these other than try to keep the elbows in around the same spot. I could see and feel my triceps working, so that's good. But if you don't, same thing as kickbacks. It's either too light or too heavy and your elbow is taking on all of the work. And for 2022, I will be changing my leg workout to balance things out with my lifts and my body. So stay tuned for that progress. Thanks for watching. Keep lifting and if you're in the Northeast, stay warm and safe.